Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see today, we're going to be working with some more of the stone coat countertop art coat resin with ultra UV protection. Um, the stuff has such a long playtime. It is just so much fun to sit there and just sort of, you know, drop all sorts of inks and paints and you know see what it does um i have been trying for a while now to figure out somebody's sort of solution um she wouldn't tell me what her method was for some of her artwork and i just thought it looked really cool so i wanted to try it out but like i said she wouldn't share with me um which is okay. I understand some artists like to keep their methods to themselves um, because they feel like, you know, if somebody else is copying them or using their methods or their materials that somehow their art isn't original. Um, I don't believe that, but to each his own. So with that being said, I am going to attempt my version of sort of a galaxy Pour, but not just galaxy like you've seen me do in the past with just the resin and the painted background and the um, mica powders. No mica powders today. Today, and I'm, I'm mixing up the resin as we speak. Should be about done. Um, today, I'm going to use the resin, the stone coat countertop art coat resin, and I'm going to be use. I'm going to mix in a little bit of this. Amsterdam acrylic ink, just the white, into just a small amount of the resin. And then I'm going to be using these alcohol inks uh, from Ranger. I've got five different colors, purple, and these are not the names of the colors. These are just, um, my <laughs> I've got purple, lime green, yellow, sort of a turquoisey teal color, and then a magenta. And like I said, those are not the official names of the alcohol ink, but if you look at Ranger ink, you can pretty much figure out which colors I'm talking about. So I want to say to you guys, please go check Stone Coat Countertops out. Um, they do some really amazing work on their website. There's lots and lots on their YouTube channel um, on how to do, you know, how to redo your countertops or, and, and other projects as well. Um, They've given me this code, this promo code, HWA. Put it in your thing at checkout, and you'll get $30 off of an $80 or more order, which <laughs> reduces that to about 50 bucks, obviously. And really, it is such an awesome deal. You guys have to do it. Um, if you want to play with resin, this is definitely the resin to play with. It dries really clear, which is awesome. No yellowish tint to it. It doesn't smell bad. I mean, there's a slight odor to it, but not like a lot of the other resins. Um, the colors dry, you know, when, when it's cured, the colors are real vibrant, depending on, you know, what you're using. And um, the work time on this is about... 45 minutes, which is just amazing. So I can sit here and chatter with you guys while this is sitting here and it's perfectly fine. Now with my other resins, if I did that, it would be hard. So I, just sort of playing around um, with the alcohol inks in the resin. Um, this was sort of what I was playing with and this turned into a mess. It was one project and then it turned into something different and then something different. So um, but you can see how vibrant the alcohol inks are and I don't know if you can see the reflection It's kind of dirty because I've you know, and I didn't cover it So it's got dust in it because it you know, it wasn't anything I was ever gonna do anything with but you can see how vibrant those alcohol inks are in the resin So if you don't want to put paint in the resin Try your alcohol inks and you don't have to put the alcohol ink into The resin and mix it up. You just pour a clear coat of resin over this and then drop little drops of resin in there you can drag a stick through it, which is what I did at the end. Um, you can blow it with an air, little air, air wand thingy, um, airbrush. But yeah, I mean, this was just after I got done blowing it around and moving around because the, the colors you can see are still very 
separated from each other. And this was after a lot of playing with them. They didn't turn muddy. So, um, and this was all, I just dragged a toothpick through all over it and just sort of went all over the place. So, um, yeah, if you, if you have any alcohol inks and you got some resin or you want to buy some of this resin, just play with it. It's fun. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing today is playing with some resin and some alcohol inks. So I'm going to get those out of the way so I don't make a mess. And then I'm going to go ahead and add, you're never supposed to add more than 10% of whatever additive you're adding to your resin. So don't add a bunch. I'm just going to put a little, I don't need much. So I'm going to put just a little bit of this resin in here. I'm going to use most of it as a clear coat for the tile. I think that's probably enough for... Sorry, I just sat down and have no idea why I did that. I never sit down. Um, I probably put about 10 drops in there. So I'd say easily that's probably less than 10% easily. Then we're going to mix it up and see if it's the right white consistency. Oh yeah, that's, that should be good. I don't want the white to be completely opaque. If you want it opaque, you know, more opaque than this, because that's pretty opaque, um, then just add a drop or two more. But really, it doesn't take much. And you can see how beautifully it, it mixes in. You know, it's not, it doesn't look grainy. Now, let me show you something real quick. This was something I was playing with earlier just to see what would happen. I mean, I, I kind of knew, but because I know more about resin than I used to. This is what I was playing with earlier. Um, the center sections are here is kind of what I was, it was is exactly what I'm aiming for. <laughs> this is not. Um, and I just did this to show you guys what happens when you take regular acrylic ink and drop it into resin. It breaks up really bad and it looks really chalky and messy on top. This is what happens when you mix the white, your alcohol, I mean your acrylic ink into the resin and drop it into your resin then and then drop the alcohol ink into it. It's really pretty through there. So this is the huge difference. So don't ever put acrylic ink on top of your, um, I don't know if you can kind of see how that white just kind of sits on top, but yeah, it's pretty bad. But like I said, that was just me playing and just to show you what's going to happen because I didn't want to show you what was going to happen if I did that on my actual painting. Okay, I'm dropping my little ink, my little resin cup on the table there, on the floor. Okay, so let me make sure you guys are still in focus because I'm not entirely, yeah, I think you are. Okay, so I'm just going to pour a clear coat over this tile and I'm going to try and not run it over the edge. And I've watched um, people do this before and if you just kind of roll it out to your edge with your little stick and kind of push it and pull it back, it will stay right there at the edge and not go over. I'm just kind of pushing it and then I'm pulling the excess back so that it doesn't get too heavy and actually flow off the sides. Now if it flows off the sides, no big deal. But the reason I'm trying to do this is I don't want my resin on the edges to pull my pattern off the top because this resin flows so easily that it goes off the sides um, really easily. And so it'll pull your whole pattern off. <laughs> so you guys, I showed you that last, um, those last two tiles, the last, you know, a couple videos ago where it had pulled because I didn't have the table level and I didn't remember to level my tile. It pulled, all the pretty pattern I had off to one side. So 
So I'm going to continue doing this because I know this is going to be super, super boring. I'll explain what I did to this tile in just a minute. I'm going to go ahead and finish um, pushing this resin to the edge. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all my resin pushed to the edges and hopefully it will um, not go off the side. But you know, if it does, no big deal. It's just, I would prefer for it to stay on top of the tile until I'm done. And then I'll take my little excess resin and sort of dab it along the edges. Once it's starting to set a little bit, and hopefully it won't pull the pattern off of the tile. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, if I framed this, I really wouldn't need to put resin along the side of the tiles. But what I did to this tile was spray paint and glitter. <laughs> and you guys know I'm not a big glitter fan, but because it's a galaxy, it needs some stars. And I don't like the big, fat, white, globby stars that the paint puts in there. So I thought I would try glitter. This actually has lime green glitter to sort of uh, match the limey green on the sides. So I've got my white mixed up here. I've got my alcohol inks. I'm just going to start dripping it in. Um, and what I discovered works kind of cool is to put a drop of white and then drop the alcohol ink into it. I'm sorry I'm being quiet. I'm trying to be real careful. I don't want to drip this white where I don't want it. I don't want to destroy my pattern, I dare say. So, and what you do, well, what I was doing was um, I drop a little drop of, of one of the colors in there. Oh, let's do that one. And you see how the, the alcohol ink makes everything spread. That's why you don't want too much in there because the alcohol is going to make it spread like crazy. And then we're going to use the little airbrush to move everything around. And I also did it where I dropped the alcohol ink first and then um, drop the white on top of it and that worked pretty well too. It's just it's easier to see it this way if you drop the because see you can see the alcohol ink has gone over the, the white there so you can kind of see how much easier it is to see where your alcohol ink is if you don't um, you know if you don't put the white down first you can see it's not going to show up as easily. Okay so that's the first layer. You don't want to blow it around too much because the alcohol ink kind of dissipates pretty easily. So <laughs> it looks kind of globby, but just wait, it'll get better, I promise. And make sure your little your little drops are not big at all because it's the resin just all resin spreads so so much. That you don't you know you don't want to put too much in there oh let's see let's put some put some of the turquoise down here and then some of the pretty green up here you have to be careful with these little alcohol ink bottles if you turn it too fast it comes out really easily so you have to just be careful 
You see how the alcohol ink is pushing everything? If you haven't ever played with some alcohol ink, you need to get some. It's fun to play with. It's very frustrating as well. So make sure you have your patience for the day. All right, back to the little ear gun. And this is, this, this is how you can you know, layer your paints, your alcohol inks over top of each other. Now you don't have to put the white down. The alcohol ink works just fine without it, but obviously you're not going to get those beautiful white wispy patterns in there. And I want my colors to really sort of blend because you know, this is like a little galaxy. So you want, you know, let's heat that up a little bit. And actually your torch will actually, if you get your torch too close, it will also push your, see if I can show you how it kind of, see how it kind of, kind of moves your, which is kind of neat. It kind of helps blend it maybe a little bit more, maybe. I kind of like that effect. And now it's pushing over the side, which I kind of figured it would do, so it's not a big deal. But it also helps kind of blend the, blend them out a little bit so that you're not, because your air gun is going to cool down your resin, which is going to cause it not to want to float as much. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it, which I have a tendency to do, so let's turn that off for a second. I think I've got a little bit too much green on the sides. It kind of bothers me. Let's blend those out a little bit. You don't want to do this too much because, you, you know, obviously you don't want to burn your resin. You see how it kind of blends the, the paints out a little bit better? I mean paints. I say paints. I'm sorry. I mean alcohol inks. It gives it sort of a wispier look. Like, you know, you're actually in space there. All right, so I'm trying to decide if I want to do any more to it. Maybe a little bit more. I know you guys are like, no, stop. But I feel like it needs just a little bit more, maybe some white. My white doesn't necessarily have to have any more color to it. I just feel like it needs a little bit more. Let's see what that will do.
thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I don't want it too chunky. Okay. I think that is about done. Right, I can see there's a couple drips off the side, but I'm going to get all the air bubbles out, flatten the resin back out from all the blowing on it. fun. Now I'm going to just sort of sit here and watch it for a while. I'll probably, see I don't like the, see how, how it goes off of this side. Now I feel like I need to kind of move it off of this side just because it, although it's kind of actually going off that side. So, and you can see that piece of paper under there. <laughs> I tried to level the tile. It, this is much more level than the last piece was. So hopefully um, it won't continue to go off of that side because that's bothering me. But there's your pretty for today. Let me get you down so you can see a little closer. All right, so you can see all the pretty going on. You can see there where I, I blew it a little too hard and it went over the edge. But we'll scrape that off and um, wait a little while, I think and go ahead and put the clear on the edges and hopefully it won't pull off the side but you can see how the alcohol ink really is so vibrant and bright and pretty and how that little air wand and your torch can blow the all the colors and kind of mix them together but not mix them together so they look muddy they don't turn muddy unless you really, really, really try hard to mix them together. Okay, let's put you back up. All right. Well, like I said, there's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you go buy some of that Stone Coat Countertops resin. It is amazing stuff and so much fun to play with. And like right now, I could still be playing with it. It let me show you the cup. See, it's still workable. Easily workable. Thank goodness because I need to put it around the edges. But see your white? Look how thin that is. So easily workable at this point. And we've been doing this for what, 25 minutes? So uh, go try some of this. And when you check out, enter HWA so you can receive $30 off of an $80 order. Well worth the uh the money for this stuff so go out and try some check out stone coat countertops red uh website let me know if you guys are going to try some of this out send me some pictures i want to see your stuff okay i hope wherever you are on the planet you're having an awesome afternoon day evening or night and uh just so you guys know i used about for a 4x4 tile, I'm going to use about 15 milliliters or half an ounce of resin. And then for this tile, I used 1 ounce or 30 milliliters for the 6x6 tile, um, which equals out to 8 drams or 30 cc's or 2 tablespoons. So, yeah, that's it. All right. See you later. Bye.